Welcome to the second of two tutorials on the Denoise node for the Foundry's new Gex. In the first tutorial I took you through the basics of Denoise. In this tutorial I will go through profiling and tuning of noise levels for different luminance values, frequencies and colour channels. So again I have this footage I want to denoise, but this time I will take you through more advanced ways of using the tool. The first thing I will explore is profiling. The noise profile specifies the threshold across different intensities. By setting the profile to constant, it is of course constant across all intensities. But even so, we can go in and tune it. To tune the profile, open up the Tune Profile tab. Select Tune Profile. and You can now tune the low light, the mid-tones and the highlight regions. To visualize your profile, you can go into the Noise Analysis tab and press Plot Profile. You can then see how the profile changes as you tune it. If you're not quite sure how to tune the profile, you can deselect Tune Profile and set the profile to Automatic. This will compute an automatic profile for the frame you're looking at. If you want to change the frame, you have to go down to Profile frame, change it to another frame, and then press Recalculate Profile. Okay, so this is the profile computed for frame 230. You can see that it's quite flat. This is probably because there isn't enough variation in this frame to build a good profile. You can still go in and tune it. But let's see if we can obtain a better profile from a different clip. I'm going to bring up a different clip, shot with the same camera, and show you how to compute the profile, export it and import it again. So let me just bring up that clip. I will copy this node, select the original clip as the noise clip, the new clip as the source clip, I will then press analyze noise, not moving the region or anything, so we'll analyze the noise from exactly the same region as the original sequence. Okay, and I will then recalculate the profile. Okay, so this is the profile for the new clip. Let's just view that clip. Let's just view the full frame. You can see that the noise levels are less in the shadows and the highlights and more in the midtones. So let's save this profile. So I just put in some file name, can be anything, and export the profile. Okay, I can then remove this clip, remove this node. Go back to the original Denoise node, put in my profile name, and import it. Okay, so you can see the profile has been imported, looks exactly like it did before. When you import a profile, all parameters relevant to it will be locked. To unlock it, Go into the Noise Analysis tab and change it to anything else than Lock Analysis. 
Okay, so I'm going to copy this node again so we can compare the results obtained with the automatic profile and the constant profile. So let me just set this profile to constant. and remove this plot. And the other plot. And let's zoom in again. So this is the original this is the result using the constant profile and this is the result using the automatic profile so you can see that the automatic profile has maybe a little bit too much noise so let's go in and tweak it a bit Okay, so we now have a flat background, but we also have more detail, so let's compare that. So you can see that the automatic profile has kept a lot more detail, this hair sticking out, more detail around here as well. You can also tune the noise levels for different frequencies. Most of the noise is in the low to mid frequency, so sometimes you can disable the low and very low frequency denoising. So go into Tune Frequencies and try disabling these. If disabling these doesn't introduce any more noise, then you can leave them disabled. Otherwise, you can try tuning them a bit. Finally, you can also tune the noise levels for the luminance and the chrominance. The human eye is not very sensitive to color variations, so by default the chrominance level is set to five times the estimated noise level. You might, however, want to reduce this to preserve the original color. Okay, so this is our final result compared to the original and compared to the result we obtained at the end of the first tutorial. Okay, so I've taken you through profiling and advanced tuning of denoise. Thanks for watching the second tutorial of the denoise node for the Foundry's Nuke X.